Hi, this is Monica from Lifeline CDC, and every week I get to write for the Merced County Times, and so I thought I'd share it with you. I should write a book. Things in community development that I should not be doing. As I'm preparing for a presentation for a statewide conference for CalFresh Healthy Living, I'm reviewing some of the work that we have done over the past 10 plus years. Pictures that bring tears to my eyes, memories that flood my mind with hundreds of people who have been involved in the garden, the physical activities, and all the other things that we have done. Kids who learn to eat veggies, people who planted things from seed so that we can then transplant them into the garden, adults whose diabetes is under control because of the class they attended, and the list goes on. But for every success, there comes learning and growing and heartache. In our first garden, we grew kale and spinach, but when the community members, including myself, eagerly took it home, we did not know how to use it. Kale was not on our favorite list of veggies. Our second garden had vicious ants and made involvement of children almost impossible. Our third garden was on a school site and we only had limited access to it. Well, all that said, I could write a book on things not to do, and it boils down to this. Never do for people what they can do for themselves. Always let community members be part of the decision process. They have much better ideas than I could ever come up with. Don't duplicate services that are already done well by somebody else. Recognize that everyone has their own story and don't judge a person based on the page of their life that you walk into. And then celebrate small successes. I'm sure there's more. But here are just a couple of the highlights from our garden and health work. One young man who worked in our first garden is now a published author. A single mom who bartered some of her growing, grown vegetables at a thrift store because she needed some new pants for a new job that she got. One of our former gangsters is a chef in a local restaurant. One of our former volunteers works now for the food industry. Our community centers love water over sodas. Our neighbors help us to grow our garden and learn. we can learn from them. Our businesses and church partners let us use their land. This could be another book, right? The Amazing Resiliency of Community Members. Well, yes, I could write the book on all my feelings, but the moral of the story is this. Unless you try something new, you don't know if it will succeed. Unless you are brave, you don't know if you can overcome the obstacle. Unless you dream, you won't see results. And unless you trust, you won't accomplish anything. On behalf of Lifeline CDC, where we empower neighborhoods to thrive because we believe that your life story is not your life sentence, your current location is not your destiny, and the story of your life is still being written, and you get to be part of it. Thank you.